The title of this episode of Black Clover, episode 120, is called Dawn. And there's no better title for an episode after a long, horrendous, nightmarish night than to see the nice dawn of a new day come over the horizon. And that's what I believe this is, and I'm excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover. I am very excited. It seems we are ending the near of the Elf Reincarnation arc. Last episode, we had Asta and Yuno going ham. Meanwhile, Lumiere and Lake were protecting everyone. And when they were going ham, they were able to make the devil vulnerable, where my main man Yami was able to use a mana zone, dim dark dimension slash equinox, and everything just went beautifully. And then Asta cut his heart, stabbed his heart, and that's where we left off perfectly. So I have no idea what's going to happen next. I'm very curious. I do just want to give you guys a little pre-warning. If you guys hear my voice, it already sounds weird. If you hear me cough, blow my nose, anything of the sort, I am pretty sick. I'm feeling quite under the weather. So give me your guys' prayers. Hope I feel better. Um, but I'm just letting you know if I sound any weird. That's why. That's why. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are down in the description, like always. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 120. We're also doing 121 as well. But this one's called Dawn. Let's do this. I wonder if we're still going to get this opening after this because I'm curious. This still is the Clover Kingdom backstory, you know? Oh, and they say his name now in the opening? Lumiere Silver Million Clover? Oh, so dope. Oh, also I was told I can watch the opening because all the spoilers have been done. So I am going to watch the opening just so you guys know. This is Asta's devil. Who are you? He said, how are you, senpai? Why does Asta's devil look so fucking intimidating? He's talking smack to this one. Ooh, now I'm very curious his motives as to why he has l l lets Asta use his power. Everyone's flashing through their memories. The entire crazy long journey it took to get here. Yeah, I bet you she feels a, such a debt of gratitude over to Yuno and Asa for the amount of work they put in. <laughs> Perkly Queen 2.0. <laughs> Sharla. Oh, all this goo should be going away, right? No, yeah, I didn't even think about this. Thankfully, though, this is the Shadow Palace, a palace in another dimension. We should just be able to leave, right? <laughs> Forget us all happen. <laughs> if you get swallowed by that, that is not good, right? Valtos! Is that Raya with Valtos' magic? Or is that Valtos? And Rada's? <laughs> yes, here he is, the man, the myth, the legends. Pitiful sinners. Hell yeah, Radas and Baltos, let's do it. Oh, William, my boy, we need you back. And that's the man. Oh, Gweldry and Revchi came and saved them. Like, who knows when, 120 episodes ago. <laughs> it is indeed, Lumiere. <laughs> Merleona's all flying like this. <laughs> That's her superhero t tag. I'll appear anywhere there's delicious noms. And you know. Are we finally out? Yeah, we did. You know what? We really shouldn't even need to do this. Is Patry still back here? Can you can you stop this, yo? It's a little, 
a little late, but Mary Leona's ready for the smoke. <laughs> that is true. Lick should just be able to tell him. Reincarnation spell is broken. Yeah, he is physically returning back to William, who was like an internal sleep in his body, but now that should be full him. Patry is gone, guys. That's crazy to think about. And you know, still has his goddamn elf ears. Oh, it's so weird hearing William's voice again. What is he going to plant a seed? Okay, how so? We're collecting everyone's magic and stopping this reincarnation together? That world tree magic is super dope. Same with Lick's sword magic. They're like, oh, that's Licked! Combo spell, Demon Dweller Sword Spirit Light Tree. That's one thing I always appreciate about this show is the combo magic. Because, like, damn near anyone can put their magic together and some new creation will come out. You know, it's sort of like those alchemy games you ever play. Widespread. Mmm, we get to see the elf spirits leave. This feels so weird. Not this particularly, but just ending this arc. Because, like, even though it's been spaced out through many other arcs, it feels like this arc has been built up since legit episode one. With the de with the demon against fucking Lumiere, everything. William first, everything, man. It was built up to this. It legit feels crazy. Raya Veto and Fauna. Oh. Are these... So we're going to get Veto, Fauna, and Raya in this world? Really? I mean, I do like their characters. They are good people deep down to their core, but... I think Raya is my favorite, though. Yeah, I see a lot of them. There's a uh, Rill, Lyra, um, Kaiser. I saw a whole bunch of people. Sharla. A lot of humans and a lot of elves made some good relationships, you know. <laughs> no, you are not. Charla having Charlotte back is gonna be crazy. <laughs> yeah, we do gotta go see Tetsuya. Confirmation? Oh, that's crazy. That's not confirmation, but that's as close as we're gonna get. It feels weird saying this, like I said, after everything we've been through. But it's good seeing you guys. I appreciate all the elves, especially Licked. Licked is one cool dude. So Patri gets to come back? I mean, it makes a lot of sense that one of Rodus's necromancy spells would be only available to those who have spent a very long and had a deep connection with him. But And I like how he says, ironically enough, the one who betrayed me, that's you, Patri. And Patri gets to come back because of that soul abductor? That is a good point. So it is compatible. Oh, William and Patrick get to live in separate bodies. I know, this is crazy. 
That is a, a hard thing to uh, oblige. Yeah, where did Soul put his body again? We do gotta lay him to rest. He deserves it. Yeah, no, no, well. <laughs> yeah, you wanna tell him, Asta? You wanna tell him that is the first Wizard King? <laughs> Just to let you know, every time you rode my head, you know, we had a good time. It was fun. I I would do anything for Lumiere to meet Julius, you know. Yeah, his body's made of stone. That is true, Silver Million. Just like with the elves, it's been an honor serving you, Lumiere. First Wizard King. May you live the rest of your time in the afterworld in peace. May you, Tetsuya and Licht, be very happy up there. It's been an honor, sir. Is that the end? Oh my god. Oh, like I said, man, it feels like a journey that I've been on. Oh, I heard there's an after credit scene. I had to go blow my nose, so I'm back. Wait, does he have some sort of time spell or something like a late, like a last trap where he can turn back time or he can go back as a kid or something? All right, I have no idea what happened at the end of last episode. I'm ready to find out, but 121, this one's called Three Problems. That is him, you could tell by his voice. I was bawling at this man's death. Yeah, I'm saying. I Thirteen years worth? That's what I was saying, a last, final trap, whatever. Thirteen years worth of time he had saved in there, that's crazy. The fact that he can save and store time is so insane. Yes, I am pleasantly surprised, surprised you are still alive. Good, we need to atone, be punished. Yeah. I don't think he would have lost one, but he used the other people as hostages, sadly. I mean, he literally is just a younger him. That's literally it. The aftermath is crazy. Nah, I don't know about that. We still have like 50 or some odd episodes of Black Clover left. Title this episode, what are the three problems? Really? His grimoire was endless pages. Yes, his influence is one of his biggest things because society is horrible. Yeah, 
Oh, that's the one. I didn't even realize that's the one Sekri made that fucking um, Lumiere tr used. Well, that's the one that the humans originally used to steal the elf power to kill the elves. And then Sekri took over to Lumiere to try to absorb all of Lick's demon magic. But then it broke and it fell. And I thought I would have never heard from him again. But of course, Julius used it to save himself. Yep. Very compatible. Dope. So we could store it in there. That is smart. It's always nice to have a final trap card up your sleeve. Swallowtail. It's a dope name. <laughs> so she never knew what he named it. And he named it after her. Which is dope. <laughs> If only you saw, yes, if you saw what he was able to do, man. <laughs> She's, he's just like fucking Lumiere with that. I love it. Speaking of, can you guys answer this for me? I don't know if they've already talked about this because I may have forgotten because you know me, but. When it comes to the lineage of the three great houses, obviously they all descend from the main family, the prince. You know, Lumiere, uh, Lumiere, Silva, Million, Clover, the Clover family, the Vermilions, and the Silvas. But where are do the Nova Cronos come from? Are they a very powerful family? Is Julius just like a, a one-off, super prodigy kind of son from their family? Or is the Nova Cronos... Like a known time using family that are super dope. Because I want to meet Julius's parents. So the first one's the Wizard King. Okay. Oh, cool. That's what I. No spoilers, but I have heard the next arc is going to be. Uh, I was going to. I thought it was either the Spade arc or the Diamond or whatever. Great. <laughs> Namu. Just like the one we fought. It's a curse known as Wag. Yes, curses we don't know about. So, like, I'm curious. The otherworldly entities that give these curses. I want to know so much more. Yeah, she's also used for forbidden magic as well. Yep. Yes, indeed. She can, she can switch forms now? That's dope. <laughs> it is pretty adorable. That is really weird. Yeah, ancient magic truly is fascinating. I must agree. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back to let's go back to me dying. What was that about? You said that a second ago. I swear, something. What? Yeah, give us a recap. It's been a minute since we talked about the lore. Yeah, we know that. Oh, Diamond Kingdom is fucked up. Heart is an unseen neutral, natural mana. Unique. Oh, unique magic in this show means it's gonna be crazy. Winter, mysteries, and demons? Ooh. Oh, I got goosebumps thinking about it. So, so far, Heart seems like the coolest. Diamond seems like they're fucked up. Also, we have to meet Morris from the Diamond Kingdom. I know he's there. I remember Ladros, all of them. But we also have the Spade Kingdom. <laughs> I'm curious. Yes. Oh, this is probably an unprecedented turn of events, yes. Yeah, they if they find out these revelations, they're invading tomorrow. Tomorrow. They're weak. Their fucking Wizard King isn't there. And they're in shambles. Yeah. Yep. I didn't even think about that. It's exactly like Aaron from Attack on Titan. A peasant who has this unknown power. Man fears what they don't know, you know? Yeah. Augustus Kira Clover. That's his name. 
Seke is getting praised by the by the king. I almost said the wizard king. I don't even want to give him that title. Who are these guys? Alright, Seke, your newly awakened powers, right? Here you go, hoo-ha. Wait, what the hell just happened? Time stopped and their magic was reduced by some sort of scale. Someone put... What is he, a lawyer? Why does he... He literally is fighting for justice. Isn't the, the, that scale like the, 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 the logo of the judicial system in America? Or like lawyers that... You know what I'm talking about, right? Damnatio. Damnatio Kira. Because he can like sense evil with like his righteous powers several days later. Oh, really? Yes, we will tell you the truth. As long as you don't wrongfully <laughs> murder me, then yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, he looks like he's setting him up. Yep. Is it Domnatio? Were they all not here during the star ceremony when Julius presented him and Yuno with like these fantastic awards? Like, come on. Yeah. There should be plenty of witnesses to the great deeds that we did. Jesus. This is gonna piss me off, I already know. I know, right? Yep, yeah, this is the hardest part about this job. I wonder what his scales... Like... We have Marie, who was also taken over by one of the reincarnated elves. Mm -hmm. So are we blaming Asta? Are we blaming Marie? Okay, so according to this then, Randall from the Golden Dawns, the entire Golden Dawns are going to be prosecuted, right? Right, Damnatio? Like, I just want to, kind of wanted to jump in the fucking show right now and beat some ass. I don't even have magic. All right, I'm waiting on the Golden Dawns to come out right behind her. They did way more damage than she did. They just did that to provoke Asta and Media. Now they're gonna prove. Yep, this is such bullshit. This is not where I was expecting this next arc to go. Not at all. I won't lie. I was. Oh man. I mean, the last episode, episode 120, for a resolution episode, was one of my favorites of all time. Like, it legit felt like the journey that we've been here for a hundred episodes building was finally resolved. It felt amazing. We got to see so many people that we haven't seen, have so many conversations that would have been waiting to have. You know, characters that would have never interacted or talked before get to talk. All the elves who were reincarnated got to go back to their resting place. I don't want to say heaven, hell, wherever this world may be, but to their resting place. We'll say that. Lix gets to be with Tetia and their son, who I, I do like how it was never really confirmed, but even if not, the guy, he said, you know, it was, it was like fighting with my son. So that's, that's crazy to think about that his son got reincarnated into, you know, but Patri, as well as Raya, Veto, and Fauna get to stay. So there's technically two Faunas in this world right now. So I'm very curious about all that. Very curious what they're going to do. How they're going to atone. Are they going to be good? We have Radas, Radas and Valtos still. And Sally. You know, I'm very curious how all this is going to go down. 
resolution was really well done. I really liked how it was Nero's and Lumiere's magic item that ultimately saved Julius. You know, he found it and he was able to put his magic in it and his magic is just fucking OP. Shout out to Julius. Shout out to the introduction of the next arc though. I assume it's going to be, I, I don't know whether, like I know it's going to be either the spade, heart or diamond kingdom. That's going to be a part of the next arc. I don't know which of the three though. So I'm excited. Um, I did not expect Don Mat uh, Don Matteo, damn that! I don't know how you say his name, but for him to be putting Asta on trial and to be finding us guilty of all these things, like I just this happens all the time, and it's such it's such bullshit. It happened to Aaron too, when Aaron was doing such great. You know, it's like it's such bullshit. But I I have faith that we're gonna make it out of this. We're gonna move on to our next arc, and we're gonna be making saving lives and doing good deeds in the clover kingdom i am very excited like i said i love this this wrap up this resolution next arc is starting i am all here for it if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that uh, bell so you guys always know when i post check out that patreon for early access full length follow all the social medias don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them be safe out there have a great day dapper squad peace